Hey guys, welcome to our One Church Teal Take 5. I'm Austin. I'm the care pastor here at One Church Teal. I just wanted uh, to share something with you this morning. I hope to encourage you. You know, I've been reading through my Bible reading plan this year, just trying to keep again on routine. I came across this reading in Ephesians. It's 1, 15 to 23. It's actually the Apostle Paul. He's writing to the church in Ephesus. And when I came across this, I actually immediately thought of you. Paul goes and he writes, he says, For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I've not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart will be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated, seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms. Far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. Now, I came across, I read this, and I immediately thought of my One Church Teal family because I've heard so many stories of people connecting digitally, phone calling, checking in on one another. It's so incredible just to see how the church is being the church. In the midst of all that's going on, it's amazing to see how people want to care and love for not only God's people, but just those that are around them. It's such an awesome demonstration of God's love. So, you know, I just have one of those kind of proud pastor moments. But then as I continue to read this, I just come on hearing myself echoing God's prayer for that church in Ephesus. And I pray that we would have that same spirit of wisdom and revelation to know God more. We have time. And I pray that in these moments where we're not only encouraging each other, but we would just see a glimpse of who God is and that we would be able to know him more and more. And we would be enlightened to know the hope that we've been called for. Now, I know how easy it is not to focus on the hope, but to become anxious in the midst of uncertainty and what can feel like chaos. But I pray that we would be enlightened by that hope because we've been called by God. Not only that, but the wealth of his glorious inheritance. How incredible it is to know that our inheritance isn't just tied up here in this world, but our Heavenly Father, he's taking care of us. So all of that, you know, it's can be real easy to say. But it's our choice to believe God to be who he says he is and who we are to him. Now, I can share a personal story. You know, last week my wife was laid off. You know, her, her job, they had to go let go 75% of their staff just so that they could keep the office running. And when she was laid off, you know, you have that choice. It's either fear and how are things going to go. But I just remember actually both of us saying, you know what? God's got us. We're his children. He's our father. He's going to take care of us. He's done it before. He's going to do it again. And then Paul says, you know, he says that God showed his power by raising Christ from the dead and placed him at his right hand. Everything has been subjected to Jesus and he has appointed us to rule. And that's something that I think is so incredible that we don't have to strive. We don't have to worry about, you know, taking care of ourselves Everything is subjected to God's rule, and he's going to take care of us. And then we have an opportunity to give a picture of what it's like to live under God's kingdom. We have this opportunity to paint a picture for the world and those people around us, what it is to trust and follow Jesus. So I'm going to brag on my wife a little bit. I think that that's okay. So as she was going through this and her manager was talking with her and the people in HR and they just have had a, this horrible rough day because they're having to call people and let them go. They were asking if everything was going to be okay. And Marilyn, in a very Marilyn sort of way, just said, you know what? I'm fine. 
And they asked about me, you know, is everything okay with your husband? Or how are things with them? She said, don't worry about it. We're going to be fine. And I just, I thought of what a, a, what a great example for these people to say, you know what? And she told them, we've been here before. God showed up for us. This isn't the first time, may not be the last time, but we're going to be fine because God always takes care of us. So let's, let's remember that glorious inheritance that we have. Let's remember who God is. He takes care of us. We're his children. And then from that vantage point, let's be the church. Let's be that. Let's show the world around us what it is to trust God, what it is to live under Jesus, his kingdom rule. So friends, I hope that this has encouraged you. Let's take a moment to pray. God, we thank you for who you are. And God, we thank you that you'll be you'll continue to be faithful to who you've revealed yourself to be. Today, God, I just pray for my friends, some of those that might be experiencing the same thing, a loss of job. Lord God, they've they're wondering how are how are bills going to be paid? How are they going to make it? Lord God, we just place our hope and our trust in you. God, knowing that you're going to take care. God, we thank you that we have this great opportunity to show the world around us what it is to live under your rule, under your kingdom. So God, would you help us do that? We pray these things, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Bless you guys. Love you. I'm praying for you.